how to install insulated plasterboard. This method is suitable for surfaces that are dry, stable and free from moisture penetration. This method is not suitable where there is a risk of moisture penetration. Guidelines should be marked out at the floor and ceiling and around the wall at horizontal centres to indicate where edges of the insulated plasterboard should finish. Cut the insulated plasterboard approximately 15mm short of the floor to ceiling height. A continuous band of adhesive should be applied around the perimeter of each wall and around any openings or surfaces. Adhesive dabs are applied in three vertical rows so that a minimum of 20% of the insulated plasterboard area is covered with adhesive. Any minor irregularities of the substrate can be corrected within the dab depth. The cavity formed by the dabs can also be used to incorporate surfaces less than 25 mm in depth. Alternatively, minimum chasing of the background will be required. Further coats of an additional undiluted bonding agent should be applied with a roller onto the surface of the insulation foil facer on the back of the insulated plasterboard. Additional secondary fixings are required at this stage. These should be driven straight with the heads embedded just below the surface of the plasterboard. Each sheet of insulated plasterboard should be lightly butted and once installed, the perimeter should be sealed. To finish, the 15mm clearance gap at the base of the wall should be sealed with a combination of flexible polyurethane foam and flexible sealant or equivalent.